I'm Kendall Hibden, and this is Tough Jobs. This episode of Tough Jobs, we find ourselves in Matagorda Bay, alongside a team of scientists from the environmental lab who are out collecting water quality samples to be processed back at the lab. Time to go fishing for digital data at site number one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this uh, door off this unit. For Jason Woods, the water is his environmental lab, a lab that he helps protect by monitoring the health of the water up and down the Colorado River Basin. The other part of this two-man science extravaganza is lab partner Colt Petrie. So you're pretty much born to be a scientist, right? Yeah, my great-great-grandfather invented the Petri dish. <laughs> Actually, the Petri dish is named after German bacteriologist Julius Richard Petri. These scientists wear safety vests instead of lab coats. They travel from site to site cleaning. It's a quality assurance check. Calibrating and swapping out instrumentation that capture freshwater inflow data. The data from the water samples is analyzed to make sure the estuary is healthy. On to site number two. These guys are creating more work for me. Yeah, that's basically why we built these platforms is for seagulls and pelicans to sit up there and fish all day. <laughs> We're gonna need to get Kendall to clean that up for us. One of the not so glamorous parts of the job is cleaning pelican paint off the equipment of the platform. Good thing I got my gloves and a supportive team. So just scrub, Kendall, just scrub. The Matagorda Bay system relies on fresh water releases from the Colorado River and local rainfall to preserve the ecological and economical needs of the region. We're off to City Park on Lake Austin for some water sampling. When the team is not down in Matagorda Bay, they're busy checking sites throughout the basin. Off to site number three. Okay, Kendall, we're gonna have you throw the anchor in the thaw wag today. The thaw wag is the deepest part of the channel. Anchors away. Now that we're anchored, it's time to collect more samples. This is what's known as a data sonde. A data sonde is basically a computer for logging water quality. We use the same thing out here that we used out in Matagorda Bay. Next is site number four. The samples from the boat are complete. We're headed out to get some land samples from a stream. The team monitors 58 different sites. By land, by sea, we'll go anywhere we need to go. These samples are time sensitive, so our final stop is the environmental lab. Hey Megan, can I do what he's doing? I think you should leave that one up to us. The lab processes around 100,000 samples a year for LCRA and for other entities throughout Texas, including municipalities, governmental agencies, and the general public. This team of scientists is committed to providing customers with on-time accurate data using the latest technology, instrumentation, and resources. Now that's what I call a tough job. Man, playing with all those crab made me hungry, thinking about shrimp. Shrimp cocktail, shrimp kebab, garlic shrimp, peppered shrimp, grilled shrimp. Hey, Kendall, we're not making balloon animals here. <laughs> Baked shrimp, shrimp on toast. Most important PPE of the day. Shrimp tacos. Sunscreen 70. Shrimp on a stick. Biofilings. <laughs> Biofouling. <laughs> Biofouling. Man, I'm getting hungry. Hey, guys, get back over here. I, hey, I'm hungry, guys. Come on. What are you doing? Hey, Kendall, we'll see you next month. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kendall Hibden. We're here in beautiful Matagorda Bay. I'm here with a team of scientists collecting water quality data from the environmental lab. I want to see how tough that job really is. And I'm Cole Peachy, and my dad invented the Peachy dish. Great-great-grandfather. <laughs> my great-great-grandfather, I said my dad. Yeah. <laughs>